Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Civilization 6 with audio this time. Let me fix that little problem. Alright, let's go for war with Greece, and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, finish them off. This is a major victory, might not kill. Did not kill, unfortunately. That's fine by me, though. So I really want to take out this city. It does have tea though. I don't know if I have tea or not. Uh, no, I don't. So I think I want to keep that city. I got like 300 gold for that, holy cow. So we have one, two, three, one, two. I just want troops. Doesn't matter what kind. We're gonna head down south, and, um... I can't denounce? That makes us a surprise war still, though. Alright, uh, research. Ooh, that looks cool. I can already start making infantry. Yeah, or something, my size is just exploding. Yeah, let's take. Just do this real quick. So I do have to worry about um, America. But I'm not too worried about it. In the meantime, we're going to send my troops down south in order to uh, probably wipe him out so that he doesn't settle any more cities. I do actually like some of the locations down here, so I think we're just going to completely wipe him out. We'll get a massive warmonger penalty, but I only know the people that are with me and I'm not too worried about them. So... I could start doing it out to just city-states, but I like the food and stuff I'm getting. Like if I wanted to go to... I get culture and faith and seven gold, but I get four gold- yeah, I get four gold in the faith and food and stuff. It's just- it's not worth it doing external trade routes. Um, do I have enough... military? I should have enough military. If 
Uh-oh. Oh, they took more damage, so I'll just play a defensive game. And I have upgrades available. What does this mean, can scale cliff walls? Okay, we're just gonna hold, uh, basically this defensive line. Oh, they did actually show up. And they did actually kill him. Well, that sucks. Come here, and then you come over here. So, let's see, is this a hill? It is, which means that I can only bombard from, like, right here. But, then again, one is enough for what I have in store for them. Okay, um, I can build lots of things. You just built a builder, which, how many builds do you have? You only have three builds, which is, in all honesty, kind of annoying. I do need more theater squares, actually. Our military has learned a way of combining two units into larger scale core. These core units are much more powerful than their singular counterparts. Really? Okay, formation slide to easily move units together, speech to scoring civilians in hostile lands. Keeping the national civic players able to unlock the ability to combine multiple military units at the same type into a single stronger unit. Two military units of the same type can create a corpse, giving them plus 10 in their base combat strength after reaching mortalization, three units of the same type. 
plus 7 to the base combat strength. The amount of their HP is not increased when units are combined this way. So it just makes them stronger. Human nature, as manifested in tribalism and nationalism, provides the momentum of the machinery of human evolution. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of this. And we'll get this. Sorry about this. But I don't want you settling any more cities. Turn earlier than I would have wanted, but it's fine. Oh, it actually stays as a uh, settler. A district that provides housing based on the appeal tile. Ooh, that is actually really important. If I get that, then I can, like, what's the appeal here? Breathtaking, four, throw it down there, and we're set. Okay, um... Yeah, sure, build the water mill. You know what, you just fortify until you're healed. Just hold the line there. Yeah, I'm not too worried about them. The nice thing about this tile is it only can only be attacked by one guy a turn. Okay. It's because I'm a little more mongery. Not my fault these guys keep trying to settle cities next to me. There were seven wonders in the world. And the discovery of the Terracotta army, we may say, is the eighth miracle of the world. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff we want to build here, but we definitely want to get Alhambra because it gives an additional military policy slot. Which is quite important. And I can build Oxford, too, which is great. We'll definitely do that after, even though it's 95 turns. Holy cow, I might want to get a workshop going first. So dead. Um, I kind of sort of need you to hurry along. Actually, you can just kill him. Probably could have waited around, but that's fine.
Oh, you have to be next to him to form a core. Core, I see. That's a lot of red. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Probably throw one down here. But until then, you can just come over here. I can't build anything here, what do you know? Okay, uh, come down here, I guess. Oh, I forgot about down here. Whoopsie. Apart from the sanitation, the medicine, education, wine, public order, roads, the fresh water system, and public health, what have the Romans ever done for us? Hmm. Please fortify. I ain't worried about you. Okay, um, let's we'll keep going for stuff I've got. Uh, infantry are pretty important, because it'll help me really wreck them. We're actually down an amenity. Field cannon, which is not a bombard. here actually didn't I what's here it's the aqueduct got it down on amenities which is kind of annoying I think I might just go nuts and take out all the cities I can of Greece and stuff, because they're not super powerful, especially if I upgrade all my units.
That's for these cities? I hardly see any benefit in keeping these guys. I'm not super worried about the warmonger penalty, cause let's be serious with you, how many other sieves are there? This was a huge map, so there are nine other sieves. Nine sieves total. That means there's five other sieves I haven't even met yet. I don't know if the relationship with me will be neutral or not, but... Let's see. Yeah, we want a farm, 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 farm. Oh, there's an encampment there. I think these guys are all taking care of it though, so it's fine. Anyway, now nah, we still got a little bit of time. Go for a couple more minutes, one more turn or so. You can do much against the city. But since you're here, you can start whittling it down. Yeah, seven damage is a whoop you do. Hello? So what I'll do is, because I'm not worried about this, we'll just sweep this way and then turn around, come here, and then we'll go off to Greece. Not happy with all this war, in all honesty. This 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 sieve seems to be a little bit more war heavy than the other games.
No, what? Gosh darn it. I don't like how it switches. It's really annoying. Okay. Uh, you finished that. Yeah, build me a sewer. Let's head you to Washington. And we can spies operate two levels higher for 24 turns. We can increase diplomatic visibility. And we can steal or boost one military, including military science. Only 37% chance to do that, so we'll uh, probably do that, but I don't think you can actually do it until after you get there. Ooh. Thank you. Alright, well it's time for me to cut this video off. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.